traders, if you want to succeed at trading, you must understand price action. And I mean must. Now, it doesn't matter if you scalp the one minute chart, right, and have 50 trades a day, or if you trade the monthly chart and have four trades a year. You must understand price action. Also, if you're, even if your strategy is very indicator driven, you still must understand price action because it just gives you so much information on where the market is going to move, right? And that's your job. You want to know where the market's going to move using what you see on the charts. So stay tuned, guys, because we're going to look at the five pillars of price action trading, okay? And look at US dollar, Canadian dollar, sell trade, and how we applied those pillars of price action to, to create a successful trade. Okay, so the trade was this, guys, and we'll, we'll talk through this very shortly, but it was a US dollar, Canadian dollar, sell trade. We entered a 1.3562. This was our stop loss. And this was our take profit. And we, we managed to take 56 pips out of the market. Okay, how did we do this? By focusing on the five pillars of price action. Okay, um, and as with all of these trades, guys, I put them all in my VIP Discord channel. That's where all of my trade signals go. So if you're interested, uh, please sign up. Um, let's remove this now. Right, because we're going to start at the very beginning on the weekly chart and we are going to analyze this trade bit by bit using this. Right, so this is the five pillars, guys. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five price action. Okay, and we're going to focus on different time frames, but we're going to apply the same logic. And the logic is to look at structure and trend, support and resistance levels, candlesticks and value. And this top down approach basically means we start on the higher time frame, which is the weekly for me, and we work our way down to the H4 time frame. Okay. Um, so a multiple time frame approach. I just call it top down approach. All right. And these are the five pillars that you must understand in your trading. Okay, so if we look at each one, right? Number one, this is the weekly chart. Like I say, top down, we'll start with the weekly chart. We first of all need to understand structure and trend. Okay, so structurally, we have got lower highs, lower lows, and therefore the trend is downwards. Okay, so we want to sell the market. Okay, um, number two, support and resistance levels. Right, if we zoom in a little, or zoom out a little bit, you can see we've broken a key support level. As soon as we break that key support level, comes back, the market has retested it. Okay, so we know that this is a good support and resistance level to trade from. Right. Um, this this setup, guys, what was once support becomes resistance or vice versa, right? It's such a good setup. So structure and trend tick, support and resistance levels tick. Now we look at the candlesticks and look at this candlestick, right? It is super bearish, right? It's a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern if you look at the previous candle and it's happened at our resistance level, right? Tick. Um, do we have value? And by value, I mean, has it retraced enough? You know, and the moving average 20 is always a good visual indication of this. You know, how close are we to the moving average 20? That dictates value. And as a result of that, how much room do we have to move into? Right. We can move into all the way back down to here, if not further. So we also have value because of the retrace and the room it has to move in. Okay, so if you just think of the weekly, we are tick with structure and trend, tick with support and resistance levels, tick with candlesticks, tick with value, and we're just starting our top-down approach. All right, so weekly said, Tom, you can sell the living daylights out of this. I said, thank you, Mr. Market or Mrs. Market. I will do that. 
Now we drop down to the next one. We drop down to the day chart. Okay. Now this is a little bit unclear. I was having this conversation in one of my mentorship sessions, right? But we're still going to apply this same logic. Now, um, number one, structure and trend. So this was, you know, arguably in an uptrend, right? Well, not arguably, it was. But then we had this big bearish candle that kind of broke these lows. Okay. But just to show you the intricacies of intricacies of what I look for, guys, right? This big wick never actually broke, right? So there was lots of okay, so let's go through this one by one, right? So I would argue this wasn't in a downtrend weekly was but this was holding on to these lows you know and still is kind of just right so structure and trend we're just going to put a you know a, a line right it wasn't a tick but support and resistance we've got our resistance level tick big bearish candlestick right tick followed by you know, a candle that just tells me sellers are still in control, right? Um, and again, we had value down to these this area here, which was my target, if not further, okay? So if you think of the day chart, it was kind of structure and trend was a little bit subjective, shall we say. You know, would you class that as a structure break of these lows? Because of this wick, probably not. Um, but so we're just going to put a dash support and resistance level. Yeah, definitely. Was that a nice uh, resistance level? Candlestick, big bearish candlestick, top wicks on this candlestick, definitely. And again, do we have, you know, has it retraced enough? Do we have room to move into? And the answer is yes. Okay. So although this one was a little subjective, we still have enough reasons right enough confluence to sell this pair okay weekly was a hundred percent downtrend and daily has ticked enough boxes for us to consider down uh you know to sell this market right so we've got two cells weekly and daily tell us we can sell right then I drop down to the H4, and this is my entry time frame. Okay, so if we drop down to the H4 now, let's find this, drag it over, right? Um, we still apply the same logic with the entry. Okay? Now, again, if you look at the H4, we're going to look at structure and trend, right? This was the structure. And when I mean structure, guys, I mean higher highs, higher lows, lower highs, lower lows, and the structure dictates the trend, right? And this was basically where we were at. It was in an uptrend. And then it comes shooting down, right, breaking these lows. Again, we had this, you know, skewed wick here, which was news-driven, okay, which does lead to a little bit of trickiness in reading price action but for me that's in a downtrend and if we wasn't sure it was confirmed when we got this last lower high and ever since then guys if we can just sort of make that a little bit clearer yeah we have been seeing this right okay and then bang right but we were getting lower highs Okay, and these lows were kind of holding, right? But we was definitely getting lower highs. So structure and trend, you know, this skewed wick aside is good. Structure and trend was good, okay? Then, again, we ask ourselves support and resistance level. So we could also put a level in here, guys, right? Um, but... In terms of this level through here, when I entered, we were below price and price had retraced into here, right? And I started selling in here, stop above here. Okay, so at the point of entry, um, we was we had broken below a support and resistance level. Okay, we actually got this 
I mean, just look at these wicks, but also this bearish candle, right? So I entered and we had value to move into. Okay. So again, with H4 structure and trend was in a downtrend for me, support and resistance levels, we had broken this resistance level and retested it, right? Candlesticks, just, I mean, just the top wicks, right? Were, were bearish and we had room to move into. Now, obviously, guys, I was conscious of this level here. Um, but once price sells through there, you know, it's just a continuation of trend and we'd still be looking to sell this. So there you go, guys. That's, you know, the pillars of price action. They're all the things you must take into account in order to find high probability trades because it gives you many reasons and therefore a lot of confluence to, and confidence to take the trade. Now, stay tuned, guys, because I'm going to show you all of my trade ideas for today, and they too will be based on the pillars of price action. Now, before I do, guys, if I could please ask everyone to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, smash the notification button. Um, and if everyone could please smash the like button, right? Really help support the channel. Thank you very much. Um, also, guys, um, if you haven't already, please come join our trading community, right? You can talk to like-minded traders, have a chit-chat, share knowledge, ideas. So come join our free Discord channel, right? It's free. So just Come in, sign up, verify yourself. Um, also, guys, if you would like more than that, and you would like access to my trade signals like US dollar, Canadian dollar, you would like access to my strategies and tutorials, and you would like direct access to me, then please come join our VIP Trading Academy. And right now, we have a promotion running. If you sign up with one of our preferred brokers, uh, we will give you free access to the vip trading academy it's a no-brainer guys come and join us uh, right trades for today guys the, the trades for today the catalyst is this so we might as well start with this currency pair now the catalyst is euro weakness right we're seeing a weak euro right now and we're seeing a strong pound right so it makes sense the first trade we're going to look at is euro pound um and this is the day chart guys right the, the things with these euro pairs is will we catch them okay now if we just follow daily trend right we're clearly in a downtrend okay so still applying the pillars of price action every single trade i take i do the same thing i rinse and repeat rinse and repeat that will get you consistency. So we're in a downtrend, right? We've broken this key support level um, and we have very bearish candles, right? Super bearish. Um, and we've got room to move into. If I zoom out quite a bit, guys, you can still see there's a bit of room to move into down to this level, you know, if not even down to this level, right? We've got some room to move into. So there's some value. But for us to get real value, we need a retrace and then we can come lower. So if we drop down to the H4, <coughs> excuse me, all I'm looking for, guys, is this, right? I'm just, you can see the moving average 20 coming down. I don't expect price to retrace to this gray zone, right? It's unlikely because of the bearishness of that daily candle. But what we could expect is price to just perhaps catch up with the moving average 20. And I would also consider selling from there. All right, so euro pound sells. Um, also looking at euro Aussie dollar sells. But if we look at the day chart again, um, we were in an uptrend, right? We really were. We was in an uptrend because we had higher highs. But ever since that level, price has just been tumbling down. And we're in a downtrend to the point that we've even broken this low here. Okay, with this candle here. The candle is super bearish as well. Downward trend. And we've got a bit of room to move into back down to this 6150, if not further, down to this 16,000. All right, so we're looking for sales. If we drop to the H4 now, 
Um, again, I just want to get value, right? So value would be a nice retrace into this gray zone, right? This last low, the moving average 20 catches up and somewhere in here, I will start selling Euro Aussie dollar. Okay, um, the next trade, more Euro weakness. The next one is Euro New Zealand dollar. Now, if we start with the day chart, this really doesn't have much room to move into. So we could argue that this doesn't have value, but we will have value if we get a retrace. You're probably thinking, Tom, what the hell are you talking about? So let's track uh, structure. So we was in a downtrend, but then price just went sideways, okay? But then yesterday's candle, bang, confirms we are still in a downtrend, right? We broke all these lows in here, nice big bearish candle, um, and we've got a bit of room to move into back down to these last lows, not much. So all I'm looking for, guys, H4 is value, you guessed it. So when price retraces, um, you know, ideally up to this grey zone, moving average 20 comes down, um, we can start selling Euro New Zealand dollar. Um, there's more guys. Um, the next one, because you know, like I say, guys, we were looking at pound strength. So I'm in pound Swiss franc and I still like this trade. If we start with the day chart, remember structure and trend. So this is the structure of the market and this is the trend we're in an uptrend clearly right we've got nothing but bullish candles right even this bottom wick is bullish we've broken a key resistance level okay and we've got lots of room to move into so we have value right tick 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 if we drop down to the h4 now we're just looking for an entry. Now, I'm already in this trade, okay? Um, but now this level through here has become important, right? You can see that it was once resistance. It's become now good support. So what I want to see, guys, is a nice bullish reaction at this level, right? Because that bullish reaction confirms to me that this is an important level. If we get that, I will add to this trade and look to take price higher. Uh, and then finally, guys, there is one more thing I'm looking at. I'm looking at pound US dollar as well. Okay, it is a little bit, you know, overextended, right? But um, if we look at the day chart, it's still firmly in this uptrend, right? We was in this downtrend and then just bang, right? It was just super bullish. Okay, so we're in an uptrend. Also, yeah, we've broken this key resistance level, right? And what I like about this is this candle. It's very bullish and it broke the high of this candle. So that suggests there's still momentum in this uptrend to come up to the next psychological level. And my target is 3,400. Okay. Um, if we drop down to the H4, um, yeah, I just want to see a bit of a retrace, right? What I want to do is hide below here. I want to put my stop loss in here somewhere. So all I'm going to do is wait for a bit of a retrace, perhaps to the moving average 20, start entering in here, yeah, stop loss here, take profit up here. All right, guys. So yeah, those are my trade ideas for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the vid. Also, guys, don't please don't forget to join me for the live stream today, 8 a.m. New York EST time. Um, have a great trading day and I'll see you later for that.